Today I'm excited to start a new series in which I go out and interview master potters. I start with Clint Swink. Clint made an historic contribution to the area of prehistoric pottery replication. In fact, he literally wrote the book on Anasazi trench kiln firing. So recently I took a drive up to Colorado, met with Clint, and recorded an interview. And I'm glad to share it with you here now. Ricky and I came here from Africa and uh, to raise her family. And I was, uh, I had been a helicopter pilot, but I found myself uh, unemployed. And uh, I had also been a, a former a freelance painter and um, a potter in the 70s. So I was looking around for some way to make a living and I, I started uh, painting again. I was gonna paint these groundscapes in, a, in situ as if in a moment in the life of an Anasazi person. Well, I needed uh, pots for that. I, uh, I went to the library to get the book on how this stuff was made, and of course there wasn't a book, so I was on my own. But I, I thought that, you know, this was doable. I studied with uh, Leander Gridley, who was a, a potter by uh, education, and he taught me how to to actually hand build, I had been a wheel putter. But his, uh, his methodology included too many uh, modern things and I wanted to, to walk a different path and I thought, you know, I, I bet I could figure this out and I slowly but surely started throwing out the uh, modern material. Eventually I arrived at a suite of materials that was working pretty good and matched the archaeological record in terms of the mountain hill night slip. Now, Shepard, ceramics for archaeologists, there's a lot of material to go through to find the, the nugget, but she was very helpful. And uh, eventually, I came up with something darn close, but it wasn't perfect until Joel Brisbane came along, and he and Gay Ives uh, excavated eight uh, Anasazi kilns in a waterline replacement project in Mesa Verde National Park. And I knew that he had the he had the key that would unlock the firing process. All I had to do was reproduce his stratigraphy in a modern sense. Which is, what year was that? Um, 93. So that day I scrounged around and came up with some Montmorello night test pieces and slapped some paint on it fired up what I thought would be a logical way to go about it. I had done 200 firings prior to uh, firing Joel's, uh, using Joel's stratigraphy. Uh, that same year, just like a month uh, after Joel and I uh, conspired, uh, gave a paper to the um, Kiln Conference at Crow Canyon, and that began uh, the paper trail that I've created and uh, as, as time went on, I improved the model, uh, published it many times, sometimes co-authored it with, I uh, co-authored it with Joel, I co-authored it with Eric Blemman. Uh, eventually, I wound up writing a book about it 20 years later that uh, describes all the improvements that I made to the original four-step uh, firing model, which to this day has never been disproved. People have tried, but they leave out the archaeological contact. The idea in the beginning was to uh, buy a fake and save a grave. You can't protect these grave goods with legislation. You can't be out there patrolling and, and arrest pot hunters. It cannot be done. I said that if I publish the process, people would be making perfect fakes and we'd dry up the, would Im really impact the sale of uh, whole pots, grave goods, you know, and it's true. I mean, look at, look at historically other places in the world, you, you don't dare buy a, a, what you think is an artifact because it's made in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Well, that's happening now. People are making this uh, pots based on the, the information that they get from the book, and uh, you know, it, it, I always thought it was the perfect storm. You, 
you teach a pot hunter how to make a pot and it cannibalizes his market. Uh, well, Mama represents uh, this whole thing that I'm trying to describe. Uh, that I was trying to do something for my teachers. I learned from the shirts and, and from their, the pots. Um, I had a, you know, a, a coach for hand building, but the rest of it I had to develop on my own with these inputs who I, I, I refer to collectively as Mama, who was uh, you know, an amazing person. She took care of the family, made the pottery, and did everything else. A, a woman of the 13th, 14th century, uh, 13th century had to do, you know. So I dedicated the book to uh, Ricky and Mama. I, I try to honor these people as much as I possibly can because this is their heritage and that's one reason that I put all this down in the book gave it away because it doesn't yeah you have to buy the book but uh, you know it doesn't belong to me that information it belongs to the family of man it was pretty clear that the pots were a lot more uh, lucrative than the, the uh, paintings so Ricky one day said she was down here in the basement and she said, Clint, <laughs> you know, it looks like you're a potter now. And I said, well, yeah, I guess so because the pots were selling and nobody wanted the paintings. Throughout that whole time, I kept my hand in the painting. I'd come down here and, and paint. I tried to do a couple a year anyway. I pot so I can paint, but the potting made, made it more comfortable to to actually generate income than, than the painting. And then at some point I had some terrific models and still do and now I feel like I'm kind of winding up this career. I'm going to go on and, and probably spend the rest of my life as a painter, which was always my passion. And now I can combine uh, the, the Anasazi pottery or the artifacts with, with things uh, in a spectacular fashion. And I think that, that my original idea is probably the way I'm going to end my life. You know, I want to be known for the guy that rediscovered the, uh, the trench kiln technology and, and I think put uh, authentic uh, replication on the map. I still believe in authentic replication, being very true to the original people. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. I'm also on Instagram. In fact, if you like this video with Clint Swink, you might enjoy this video over here. Or maybe not. Thanks for watching just the same. <laughs>